Would you be surprised to know there is a group who is doing experiments on dogs, which include the following. Putting pacemaker implants into pups, inducing abnormal heart rhythms by having them run on treadmills before being euthanized by injection or draining their blood. Or placing electrodes on the dog's spinal cords both before and after severing the cords to measure cough reflexes or before killing the animals by lethal injection. That they remove sections of the dog's brains to test the neurons which control breathing? Sounds like scenes from a horror movie. Or simply animal torture at its worst and the authorities should be called. But would you be surprised if it was the government who was doing this? I was. The Department of Veterans Affairs has had a long-standing, invasive, and ultimately fatal experiment program for the animals involved. VA officials say this could help veterans suffering from spinal cord or breathing problems and point to the invention of an implantable cardiac pacemaker and a procedure that led to the first successful liver transplant as justification for the testing on the canines. But those tests, according to the VA's own website, go back all the way to the 1960s. Now, President Trump did try to address this issue at last March 23rd when he signed a law which required dog experiments to be directly approved by the VA secretary. And the VA recently commissioned a $1.3 million study to evaluate the need for dogs as research. But Secretary Wilkie has yet to publicly declare where he stands on this issue. And according to President Trump, it's his discretion. The issue of defunding the, pro the project of medical experiments on dogs was one of the few issues both sides of the aisle could agree upon as wrong, and many in Congress thought they had defunded the project. But a current investigation into conflicting reports about who reauthorized dog testing was launched following a letter by House members earlier this month. Caring for our veterans, especially those who are injured, is very important. And we should always do our best to find ways to advance their well-being and quality of life. But in the present, I would hope we could find other ways to ease their pain without the painful torture of man's best friend. Hey YouTube, thanks for checking out our channel. We hope you enjoyed the video. We have tons of content for you just like this. For more of RT America's one-of-a-kind news and analysis, be sure to subscribe and never stop questioning more.